Okay, got some sanitizer. <laughs> so you just have this little... Jesus Christ. What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I have a large amount of items to show you in this like tech haul video. Um, some very cool stuff has been coming in. I got a little backlog with the holidays and everything, but 2021 we're back and I just wanted to do one big massive cool tech for February 2021 and uh, bring it all to you. I spent way too much time doing the lighting here, um, but I don't want to switch to overhead, but we're going to jump to the overhead so I can give you guys a better view of everything we're unboxing. So let's jump right in. So first up, we have a product from PhotoFast. This is the PhotoCube Pro. So you auto back up while charging. So you can back up your photos and videos, contacts, and your calendar. One of the things that I really like about it is there's a spot for a micro SD card in the unit. So you can actually back up directly to that as well. You can use this on iOS and Android. You can connect it to a USB type A charging and then it'll back up automatically while charging your device. And like I said, your contacts, calendar, photos, videos, it also supports social media backup like Facebook and Instagram. Backup is stored in separate folders for easy management. So that's cool if you have a bunch of devices or you're backing up like your family's devices, say like mine and my wife's, maybe the kids, whatever. Again, you can expand storage with the micro SD card slot. You can easily transfer your data to your new phone. So if you have someone not like myself, I back up everything that I have to the cloud. But if you have someone like your mother, your grandmother, something like that, that never really backs up and you and they get a new device, they don't have to go into a store or something like that to uh, get everything transferred over. So let's open this up and take a look. So here it is, very simple device. You got that and some instructions. I believe there's an app for iOS and Android. So let's get this app downloaded and take a look. So while we're waiting for this to download, you can get this in a couple different configurations. So I believe this is the 128 gig, but like I said, you can get it in 256 if you need more. You can also just get a micro SD card. This one has a 16 gig micro SD card already built, uh, already installed. So it came with a 16 gig, so that's nice. Let's open up the app, begin setup. Okay, allow permissions, allow contacts, permissions, calendar, okay. Okay, so, what we need to do here is you're going to need an outlet and a charger. Actually, I wonder if it'll, I have USBs on here. I wonder if this will just work through here. And for my device here, I have USB type A to USB type C. So we're charging. Open one to handle PhotoCube on Android. Always open one of you. Yes. And that's, that would automatically open the app. So you can see it's backing everything up. Photos should take a while. I have a lot of photos on here. So anyways, you do this at the end of the day, at night. You're never going to sit here and stare at it while it's going. So we'll let this finish, then we'll take a look at the app a little bit. While we're waiting for this though, the 128 gig version is $49.99 on Amazon. The 256 uh, gig version is $84.99 on Amazon. I will leave links for these down below. Just so you know, PhotoFast was nice enough to send us out to me for review, so big shout out to them. So there is a breakdown of what you can and can't do with iOS versus Android. Uh, it looks like there's a lot more available uh, options for iOS than Android, which is sort of normal. Uh, but I'll, again, that's in the Amazon link. You guys can see the little breakout on their Amazon posting. I'll leave a link for that again down below. Okay, so everything's done. You can go in, it puts it in a nice folder. Like I said, they got it broken down into years. So you can see everything there, all my photos back up to the external storage. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, this is awesome. I like this. May not be the perfect use case for me because I back up everything to the cloud, but I guarantee there's somebody in your life that probably needs this product right now. Link for it to be down below. 
All right, next up we have something for the iPad Pro. Uh, I guess you could get it for the iPad Air as well now. If you're a creator and use an iPad, I think this is a fantastic thing. This is a overlay for your keyboard. Now they sell this for both the Magic Keyboard, which I have here with trackpad, or the whatever the other one is, the Smart Keyboard. And what this is is shortcuts for LumaFusion. If you're not familiar with LumaFusion, it's a awesome uh, editor for the iPad for editing videos. I'm not gonna get into a whole LumaFusion video. There's a thousand of them out there. I just wanted to quickly show you guys this. I bought this myself from Amazon. Uh, it's from a company called Editor's Keys. I almost bought it from their website, but I believe it was about five or $10 cheaper on Amazon and came a lot quicker. So uh, I'll leave an Amazon link down below, but it's just an overlay. So if you're not editing, you just peel it off, throw it to the side. Um, and then when you're ready to edit, you can put it back on there or you can leave it on there and it's a nice cover for your keys on your keyboard. So just all the shortcuts that you could use with LumaFusion. There's different things like this. I think Editor's Keys actually sells ones, uh, sells different ones for like, you know, uh, Final Cut Pro for your Magic Keyboard. I think they have all kinds of them. If they don't have them, other companies have a ton of them. So you guys can check them out. I'll leave a link for this one down below uh, an Amazon link so you guys can check it out for yourself. Okay, so this is a USB storage docking station. This is from JSOC and they just kicked this off on Kickstarter. I think this is really cool. I haven't opened this one yet, but just from the information that they sent me, when they asked me if I wanted to check this out, looks awesome. Uh, it's a magnetic two-in-one storage docking station. As you can see, it has two-in-one, it has docking station and a storage box that you have all these different uh, connectors and things in there. 100 watt fast charger. Uh, it's got a SIM tool, blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll look at all that. So let's just open it up. So right from the jump, you got a nice carrying case. Got some instructions here. Don't think we really need the instructions, but we'll leave them out here in case we have any questions. So you got this nice like faux leather carrying case so it won't get all scratched up in your bag. So it is plastic. Uh, you can see on the side here, you have your USB type C port, which will go to your PC. You have your HDMI and you have an ethernet port. On this side over here, you have two USB type A, which is USB three. Then you have a micro SD card slot and a standard SD card slot. So you can use this as a hub for your device. Then you have the magnetic case, like storage on the top. So what you have in here is a USB type C to USB type C cable, a USB type C to lightning cable, a USB type C to USB type A adapter. So you can use either one of these cables with USB type A. You have a USB type C to micro USB. You have a SIM tool, ejection tool, which is nice. I would use that a lot just for SIM tools and micro SD card slots on my devices but you can use that in a variety of different ways, like reset buttons. There's just, there's a lot of uses for something like that in your life. Then you have another little slot right here where you can put like an, an extra SIM card. I don't know if a micro SD card would fit there or not, but they say it's for like a SIM card. So, I mean, you have all these accessories, which is great, but the, the main thing about this is it is a, a hub for your device. So if you have a, MacBook Pro or MacBook, say for a MacBook Air, and you have USB Type-C, you plug this USB Type-C, USB Type-C into this device, and now you have HDMI, which will give you a 4K out display. You have your ethernet, you have your SD card slots. I missed it on the other side here, there is a USB Type-C. So this is the one that will connect to your device, and then this is your power input. So if you have your laptop set up, USB type C to USB type C to your laptop. Your charging port can go in here. So you're actually charging. Um, it'll give you up to 100 watts charge. So that's awesome. And then like I said, you can connect all your peripherals to this. You have uh, the USB type A ports, your SD card slots, ethernet, HDMI for 4K. I, I think this is just a no brainer. This is an awesome, I was, this is an easy way to get it across, just thumb it. Nice magnets hold it together really well. 
Um, again, this is on Kickstarter. Let me see where we're at on Kickstarter here. I I'll tell you this. I've looked at some Kickstarter stuff a lot the last, I don't know, couple months or whatever over the past year. And this is in the same vein as the other ones that I've looked at, being that it's already backed. So it just kicked off, I don't know how long ago, but as of recording this, there's still 39 days. They had a $5,000 goal and they're at $52,911 at this moment. So this is coming to market. There should be no issue with that. Now I don't guarantee it because this is a Kickstarter. I don't know the company. I don't have a relationship with them yet. Um, but from what I'm seeing, this product is legit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the plastic build. I wish it was a little bit of aluminum. Uh, maybe at least this, the main compartment and then you could, the storage, you could have plastic, maybe something like that. But I understand to keep costs down, that's what you have to do. But right now to back this, you're looking at $39 and you can get one Omni case mini and that'll come with a USB type C to USB type C cable, the two adapters and ejection pin, but it doesn't support the charging. So the one with the charging, which is the one that we have here is the, I'm sorry, this is the Omni case pro and the other one was the Omni case mini. So the Omni case pro is going to give you the hundred watt charging. Um, and then really everything that you saw inside of the one that I had here. And then there's there's just different tiers. You can get two minis for $69. You can get one with the mini and the pro. There's just all kinds of options. But this one right here that we're looking at is $69. I think that's a good deal. I have all kinds of adapters and dongles for my laptop and this like it gives me everything I need in a nice tidy clean case so this is a no-brainer for me i'll leave a link for the kickstarter down below you guys check it out let me know if you guys pick it up in the comment section and again big thanks to jay saw for sending this out so i could share it with you guys let me know what you guys think all right so up next we have from my friends at divoom if you're a longtime follower of the channel you know i've done a lot of products for divoom they have a lot of uh, speakers i actually have one coincidentally sitting right here on my desk that I use for music during the day. This one looks like a little computer. This is something a little bit different. This is not a speaker, but it's sort of like a pixel art frame or signboard is what they're calling it. Pixu Max, customizable pix art signboard. So multi-purpose display, musical visualizer, mood lighting, pixel art creation. And here you can see you can use it for like a sign on a door. 124 mobile app programmable, full RGB LED, easy pixel art animation creation process, online pixel art gallery and user community, daily function and evolving mobile application. Now I have the application already on my phone because I use it for a few different products um, from Divoom. And you can, you can draw right on your phone and make whatever art you want but there is a ton built into the app to choose from I have a specific use case that I am going to use this for which we'll talk about in a moment some pixel stickers always cool come with I think almost all of the Davoom products that I can think of here is a very lengthy oh it's just different languages of a manual so don't worry about that for now we'll leave it close just in case some accessories before we get into looking at the actual display i don't know if this is just a charging cord or if this is that needs to be plugged in, I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping not. USB type C to USB type A for connectivity. And you have this little tubular, tubular thing there, which I believe is probably acts as like a stand or something if you're using it like in a desktop environment. So you have a little keyhole here for mounting it with a screw. This I believe goes in here so you can stand it up like that. You also have, there's your charging port here. Oh, there we go. So that's nice that it's recessed like that. So if you are using this, you can still use it without 
messing up your cord. Looks along the side, we have power at the top and it looks like a brightness down. We have a small, uh, that's not quarter 20, maybe an eighth something connector at the bottom and the top. It looks like maybe they sell these suction cups separate. I thought they would maybe come in the package um, because I was hoping to actually utilize those, but it doesn't look like they do, which I'm a little bummed out about. So we have to look on their website and see if they sell these separately or whatever. But the pictures don't show a charging cable, so it must have an internal battery. So there we go, we got hold the power on off button, press again, hold it to turn it on and off, press it to show battery status. Oh, the bottom isn't dimness, it's changed the lighting effect. So there's a little microphone port on the side as well, stand port we talked about, USB charging we talked about. There's an indicator light on the back as well for when you're charging it. Car mount screw, yeah, for car mount accessory only for those top and bottom and those are sold separately. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so it'll last for 12 hours. That's fantastic. We do. Looks like there's a screen protector. software update already. So while we're waiting for this, I'll tell you that what I wanted to do with this is have this as like, at the I'm in the basement. Uh, I work down here for my nine to five uh, due to COVID. So this is my office slash studio. So during the day when I work down here, or if I'm recording a video, I'd like this to have this upstairs somewhere, maybe on the door, or even on the refrigerator, somewhere where everybody can see it, and then put like, filming or working or whatever because the kids always like to come down or my wife if she needs something she'll usually text first but the kids will just come down if they need me or whatever you know want to say hi but if i'm recording or filming or on a phone call i can put that on the screen and then that way they can check it before they actually come down so for me that's going to be my use case now for the meantime i can put it on the counter using this little stand um, and that'll work out fantastic. And with 12 hour battery life, I can just plug it in in the evening uh, when I'm done with work and then, you know, go back to work the next day, unplug it, or I could even leave it plugged in on the counter, either way. So, and then here you can see, so you can design whatever you want and have it as your screen. You can animate, you can do animations. Um, I've walked through this before in different videos. Um, so I'll link a couple of my Divoom, different Divoom videos down below if you guys wanna check those out. So here's your channel, this is what we're connected to. You can see the temperature, date, time. And then these are all just different ones that you can connect to. You can download them. I mean, this, I, I love, 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 and I say this every time I, I look at a Divoom product, I love their products. I, I think it's, I love 8-bit, I love the way this looks, the pixel art, I'm just, I'm just a fan, and that could be me just, you know, growing up in the 80s and stuff, but wear your mask, I like that. <laughs> Little Jason Voorhees. Oh, you can actually just scroll through that way. So like I said, there's just a thousand things you can do with this. My use case, again, is going to be upstairs telling the family, hey, I'm recording, hey, I'm on a phone call, hey, please don't come downstairs right now, or hey, free to come down, whatever you need. So that's gonna be it for this one. Let's jump into the next thing. All right, so this next one is a little bit different. This is a, this is something that, this is the world we live in, but even before, I'm a little bit of a germ phobe, so this is right up my alley. This is a automatic hand sanitizer dispenser for your car. Um, there's special uh, sanitizer that you put in it that will uh, that can handle like heat and hot and cold. I'm sure if you live someplace that's super super cold, you probably shouldn't leave it in there. I'll leave a link to this down below. But they sent this out to me. Um, I didn't do an unboxing because they don't have. They didn't send me retail packaging, but. Basically, you fill this reservoir up, slide it back in, it just screws on and off. Like this is the, the main housing for it. There's batteries underneath, uh, it takes four AA. It does not come with batteries, just so you know. Got the batteries in, got the nozzle at the bottom. 
So this part goes over the top, locks into place. It's got a little thing on the side to tell you you know, how much sanitizer you have left in there. What you have for the whole setup is you have this piece here that goes around the two bars in on your headrest. So, and I'll show you some B-roll here of it set up in our car. So these open up so that you can put them on the posts and then lock it into place. And you have adjustment here if you have different uh, dimensions there. Then you have this piece that locks into this piece. So this part is on your headrest and then that slides into this. So this is how the unit will be in your car. There's an on off button on the bottom. So we'll turn that on. I believe this is like Jeez, oh, geez. okay. So, okay, got some sanitizer. <laughs> so you just have this little, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna turn it off. So there's a sensor right here that I just made <laughs> go off um, that will detect your hand. So it's hands-free, which is really nice. And then you have the little nozzle here that's gonna squirt out the sanitizer, you're good to go. Um, like I said, this is pretty handy if you got kids. Um, we have kids. And uh, my wife and I are looking forward to getting this in the car. This is Puri Ride. So that's what this is called. I'll leave a link for it down below. Um, you saw the B-roll of it in our car. And uh, by the time you see this, we've been using it for a little while. But as always, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, TikTok, and I'll show you guys like updates and how things are going with products that I check out, especially like in videos like this. Again, link will be down below. Okay, so now we have a few products for the new iPhone 12. One specific for the iPhone 12 mini, but the others are not specific to the mini. So we'll talk about the mini one first. These are from ESR, and this is a protective case. And we have a few other things here, but this has a magnet built in. So I'd say it's, you know, it's, I guess it's got MagSafe built in. I don't know if it's an official MagSafe thing, um, but let's take a look at what we got here. So very, reminds me of the Apple, yeah, you can see the magnet there. So I have an Apple silicone case here, so you can sort of see them side by side. Very, very similar, a little bit more of an opening here with a little bit of, it says drop guard protection. Uh, the bottom is more open than the little pinholes that Apple has, but the buttons on the side look the same. This one actually feels a little bit more substantial, but let's put it on and see what we got here. So it feels good. I mean, it feels very similar, but I actually like the way this one feels a little bit more. No Apple logo, so it's nice and clean. Buttons are all good. Everything's tactile. You got a little bit of lip protection there. You're a little flappy on this side and this side where the buttons are cutouts are because it looks like what they did here on theirs is just left that material. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they left no material in here for backing it up. Same thing on this side for the button. Whereas the Apple one, they actually go around the button. So you still have some stability in there. I don't think that's a huge deal, uh, but just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Uh, I think the price difference between the Apple one and this one justifies a little bit of flappiness in those areas. I don't think that's a problem. So we'll leave this on and now we're gonna check out, we're gonna check out these other things because these are wireless chargers for your car and for your desk that also have the built-in magnets. They're calling it intelligent device recognition. I think that's what they're talking about there. Ultra slim. All right, so let's check this out. It's got some weight to it. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it feels substantial. I don't think we need instructions for a wireless charger. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's got some weight, that's nice. It's, it's metal. Okay. 
Uh, we got USB type C charging, which is another huge bonus. So very nice ESR on that. If that's a light around there, oh, I don't think it is, but if it is, oh, it is. Okay, you got me ESR. You, you, you have got me. That's dope. Now I wonder how long the light stays on. It looks like it's pulsing. I don't know if you can bring it, if you can tell on camera, but it's like pulsing. A little slower than what I just did in my hand. But as you can see, it's magnetic. Trying to get it, there you go. So I mean, I'm sh not super strong, but what I like about this more than the MagSafe one, which I should have brought down, I don't have it with me right now, the Apple one, is that you can lift it up and the whole thing's still on there. Now this one, it's still on there, but you have these spots here where you can put your fingers and sort of push against it and release your phone. Whereas the MagSafe one, you don't have that because it's on the back and it's lined up, so you sort of gotta pull it off and then put it back down. I like this a lot. This this wireless case is the nicest, or this wireless charging pad is the nicest one that I've seen so far uh, when it comes to like a MagSafe type of thing. So big, big win on that one from ESR. So now we have sort of the same technology, but for your car. Again, I don't think we need that. Pretty standard setup, like you would see in any car dock type of thing like this. So it's saying it needs, it requires a, a caseless iPhone 12 or a MagSafe Halo Lock case, which Halo Lock is what this case is here. So that's what they're calling their technology. So the way this works, this is a vent mount system. So we got USB type C again. You open this up here. You're gonna open this clip up, put it on your vent, and then you're gonna clip it down. It's gonna lock into place and you're good to go. But let's take a look at this. We'll just use the same charging cord here. You got an indicator light on this side, blue LED. Oh, it's on both sides. Okay, and then what does Flossie call that? Maximum shakage. Yeah, I mean, if you if this is what you're doing, I'm assuming you're off-roading or something. But I mean, just normal bumps. You're good to go. We're charging. You can see you got the, the blue LED indicators as another way to see that you're charging. Let's see how this... I have another... This is the iPhone 12 uh, Pro, which is a little bit heavier. I don't have a Max yet. So this is gonna work as well. So this is a win. ESR, great, great products. I'm very impressed. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. I don't believe I've worked with them in the past and uh, they have won me over. So I'm hoping you'll see a lot more from ESR on the channel because anything they have, I'm gonna be more than willing to take in and share with you guys. So big thanks to ESR for sending this out. Let's jump into something else. Okay, so we just looked at the stuff from ESR um, in this video. So what I wanna do now is I also have, this is just random. I bought this myself for my son on Amazon. This is just a battery case for the iPhone 12 mini, which everybody knows that it doesn't have much power. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery built into the case. That's a thick boy, I'm not gonna lie, but you got a charging indicator there and it, as well as it tells you how much battery you have left, there's four little bars, obviously each one's 
Um, it has pass-through charging and it's got lightning so that way you can actually just use your regular lightning cable and you can see it goes in super easy. You got front protection here. Just so you know this has a glass screen protector on it so the, anything that I'm looking at case wise is going to work. Again this is a thick boy so you know but this case, this phone is so small that it still doesn't feel crazy like if I have my you know my Note 20 Ultra and I put a battery case on it it's going to be a huge brick. The other cool thing that this has you can see it's already starting to charge but it has this little flip out kickstand. So he's always watching videos or chatting. He does a lot of chatting with his friends while he's playing Minecraft and different stuff like that. Um, shout out to him. I'll leave some links to his stuff down below. He's on social media. He's a he's a social social media savant. Um, but yeah, so you got the cutout for the speakers. You got the little kickstand. Like I said, I think this was thirty or forty bucks or something. I'll leave a link for it down below. But I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's jump into what's next. So up next, we have some more iPhone stuff uh, and something for the Note 20. But this is for the iPhone 12 Pro specifically. I believe the 12 is the same size. Yeah, 12 and 12 Pro. So what we have here, one, I have an empty box because Miles is already using this one and I think it's up in his room uh, and I can't find anything in his room. So I let that go because we have another that is the exact same, just a different colorway. So we'll take a look at that. So we'll get rid of this empty box. So we have three cases for the iPhone 12 Pro. We also have these. Um, when VRS Designs decided to reach out, they asked me what devices I had or whatever. I told them I had AirPods. Uh, I no longer have AirPods Pro, but they sent out these awesome cases for AirPods Pro. So I may be doing a giveaway or just throwing these out on Twitter or TikTok or something and just sending them out to some people. Uh, they look really good. I'm not going to open it up because I have a specific one that I am already using for the Galaxy Buds Live, which is the, my headphones of choice or earphones of choice at the time. So here it is right here. Um, it gives a lot of great protection for my Buds Live. I use this little carabiner. The carabiner definitely is not the best. I've had it. It sticks often. Um, just because it doesn't line up quite well, so I'll probably be changing that out But I do wear this on my belt loop all the time I've talked about that before that I like to have these not in my pocket um, When I'm working and stuff if I go somewhere then I'm going to obviously just throw them in my pocket or whatever Not hanging them out, but like on a normal day-to-day -day, if I'm running around doing stuff I'll have them hanging on my side comes with like a double-sided little piece of tape that goes on each side Wireless charging still works with this um, I can show you Go. Wireless charging still works with this, you know, larger case on there, um, but it, it gives you a lot more feeling of stability and, and safety that you have this on there. And if you were to drop this around, it's not going to crack the case or anything like that. I like the industrial look of it too, with like the button heads and the little fake, you know, material here. It's all like plastic and rubber. Um, but I like it a lot and I think VRS did a great 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 job with this and I'm sure the AirPods Pro cases are just as good So then we have the cases. Let's look at the case for the Note 20 Ultra just to get it out of the way And we can concentrate on the iPhone ones now if you don't know if you haven't been with the channel long VRS used to send me every case they manufactured whenever a new iPhone came out uh, So I would be any if you look back at my videos, there's a lot of VRS and I can't remember what they were called before that. Um, but I've worked with them for a very long time. So this is a Note 20 case. You have a huge lay flat protection on the front uh, and the sides. Buttons are all good. I've actually had this out and used it. Um, you still have access to your S Pen if you are somebody that uses that. Uh, cutouts are all great. Now this is a thick boy in the back. I like this little accent here, like metal faux metal type thing but this is where you're gonna put your credit card I believe it'll hold two if I'm not mistaken three or four cards in there I'm not gonna put my cards in there to show you but three or four this is definitely a different design than what they've had back in the day and again you get this thick boy you know lift up there but what I like about this is when I leave the house I'm taking my car keys my phone and my wallet this eliminates the need for me to take my wallet. So I'm gonna drop in a couple of my 
major credit cards that I use and my ID and I'm good to go. You know, maybe my library card, you know, whatever you're into. But this is nice, very, very nice. Same industrial look as what, see that's a that's a nice pair right there. That's a nice pair, that's a, that's a, that's a thumbnail right there. I may do an Instagram picture of that because I like that. So, yeah. Easy, obviously easy to put on and off. I usually rock no case on my phone, so it's nice to have this just laying on my nightstand. And if I'm ready to go and I don't want to bring my wallet, I just throw my throw my stuff in there and I'm good to go. So this is very this is similar, if not the same, as this one right here for the note. But obviously for the iPhone 12. This is what Miles already has upstairs. He has the black version upstairs. This is like a military green looking. Same mechanism. Nice locks into place well. You don't have to worry about your card falling out or this opening up or anything like that. I, I, I'm not a fan of the MagSafe wallet. Um, to me, you're putting your wallet in there and you're hoping that the magnets hold it properly. I am much more would rather something like this. Now, yeah, there's the convenience of the MagSafe where you can just pop it off. That's great. I think this is fantastic. So there you go. Looks good. I mean, I like the orange on the inside. Brightens up the inside so you're not, you can see what's going on. I don't, there's no way wireless charging works with this. Yeah, you're too far away from the back for wireless charging. It is what it is. That's a trade-off. This, to me, these cases are for when you're going out and you want convenience to just have a couple cards. You don't want to bring your wallet. You're trying to streamline your whole thing. That's what these cases are for. Here we have another. This is the, these are called, so these are the Glide Pro cases, just in case anybody's wondering. Links for all these will be down below. This one is the Quick Stand, which I'm a fan of this. I wish they had this for the Note 20 because, or I think they have it. I wish I had it for the Note 20 because I watch a lot of videos on my phone and it would be nice to kick it up. So there you can see there's a little arrow back there. Kick that out. You got a little detent that locks it in and then you can watch videos, do whatever you got to do. I don't think it really, yeah, it's really for landscape, which the only way you should be watching videos. So industrial design, again, this is a green, like that green military look. I like the way that looks. You got some lay flat protection, buttons, everything's good. VRS, they make fantastic cases. Like I said, I've been working with them for a very long time, like years and years and years, and uh, they never disappoint. Last but not least, we have, this is the Crystal Mix Pro. It's like a carbon fiber looking case. Oh, I like this a lot. I didn't even, okay. A lanyard I'm not 100% sure about, but this, see, I like showing off, like if I have a color, a new, this this is just black uh, or whatever it is, car, carbon or whatever, miles, carbide, whatever. But I like that, I like the clear, but I don't like clear cases because they get all gummed up. This has like a carbon fiber texture in it, but it's still clear. That's a really nice look. Same, you know, lay flat protection. You got the buttons are good. Like everything, I mean, VRS makes a great case. Now you have this, you know, I don't know if you're hiking or something or you're going on a walk or something. You got this little lanyard thing. It's elastic. You know, Miles may like this. I don't think he knew this was in there. I think he would have opened this up. So, you know, if you're doing something, you're out and about, you're worried about dropping your phone, you're good. You're not going to drop it. That's nice. Good job, VRS. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can hit the thumbs up down below. If you've yet to subscribe, you can do that down there as well. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, what was your favorite product that we showed off today? But that's gonna to be it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.